if you're going to tow more than 1600 pounds in most states but i believe that's what's actually stated on tesla's uh, manual after 1600 pounds you need a brake controller in your car obviously tesla doesn't come with this the tow package uh, will give you the seven-way connector in the back this right here it's hard to see because everything's hooked up but the tow hitch here is from factory when you ask for the tow package and it also comes with the seven-way connector you need this this talks to the trailer it talks to its brakes talks to the lights your turn signals all that now here's the kicker I did a ton of research if you bought a Tesla Model Y within I believe it was June 2022 but it could even be uh, towards the beginning of the year maybe March uh, I'm not exactly sure the cutoff as of now basically the batteries that come with the lithium-ion small battery so this is the low voltage lithium-ion battery they switch from lead acid to lithium-ion when they did that they actually went with a 16 volt small voltage lithium-ion battery now what that did was it prevents some communication with everything else in the world that uses 12 volt that being said there's no auxiliary power that's going to your trailer one of the connectors on the seven-way connector is the 12 volt auxiliary power that's supposed to go to your trailer to charge its battery that does not work on a tesla model y with a lithium ion battery if you're ordering a tesla now it's going to come with a lithium ion battery this is something to consider they said in the future they're going to have some kind of workaround where it will provide auxiliary power this was my question it was very hard to find online will i still be able to tow and will it still be able to communicate with a trailer's electronic brakes yes it still will you can still tow with this it will still apply the electronic brakes with if you have a brake controller it just won't provide auxiliary power to the battery on the trailer let's look at this setup here this is the tekoshina p3 this is a good trailer brake i like it it was very easy to set up so this wiring it actually connects to a pigtail it's got four little tails on it you can buy that from tesla it's actually a model x part not a model y part it doesn't matter it works with this car too behind this paneling it's easy to do see how it's already separating you can pull this carpet back about right here sticking up is a white connector and it's attached to the car that pigtail connector that you order from tesla or ebay whatever somebody has it i'll provide the part number that connects in there the four tail connector goes up here you match with this the colors do not match but you follow the instructions i'll also be showing a picture now you connect it in this order in this order only the colors do not match up and it is plug and play once i did that i used velcro down here underneath the steering wheel and as soon as i plugged in the trailer it recognized it you can set the power of the trailer brakes and the car immediately recognized there's a trailer attached once again if you are buying a tesla model y or if you have a tesla model y uh, within the year 2020 towards the middle or the end you're going to have the lithium ion battery in the car that will not provide auxiliary power to your trailer but you still will have power to the trailer's electronic brakes if you have a brake controller and the brake lights turn signals all that will work First of all, we've got here, it looks like a small trailer hitch. That is actually what is standard for what Tesla is asking for. That is a two inch receiver hitch with a two inch ball. And that right there is actually the longest at 8.5 inches, uh, straight from the Tesla manual on how long of a receiver hitch you can have for towing in this vehicle. So that size that you see right there is as big as Tesla wants you to have. 
Quick disclaimer here, this ball hitch is quite small and it did not help with our situation. We simply needed something bigger that was out of spec. Uh, I just wanted to show you that this is what Tesla recommends. I didn't use this setup, but you know, go at your own risk. I just wanna show you the right way first and I'll show you how I actually had my setup. I just wanna have this quick disclaimer for this video. It's meant to be a, a general guide. As I'll explain, uh, there's a Tesla manufacturer's specification way of towing and then there's kind of the Nick's route that he went with. Uh, but I also came into some challenges like I didn't exactly know how high the trailer was going to sit and uh, that this Tesla Model Y performance sits quite low. And I had to use a hitch that was quite out of Tesla spec. I'm not recommending that you do this, although you will notice that uh, staying within Tesla's manufacturer specifications uh, for towing is going to be quite limiting for a lot of applications, just given the uh, height that the, uh, the rear of that trailer hitch receiver is off the ground and what you might be towing with. But I still hope you enjoy this video, have some takeaways, and kind of see what it'd be like if you were to tow something. Uh, as big as this trailer or around that size, you can get kind of a general idea. What I ended up going with was this uh, package weight distribution hitch by Husky Towing. And uh, the reason why I picked this one is because this one has a 400 to 600 pound tongue weight. And I know that I'm not gonna ever exceed that for this car. Uh, and this also provides uh, one of the smallest amount of uh, weight distribution uh, which is going to effectively shift the weight into the center of the car and so that does put some kind of stress on the chassis and I wanted something that has the least amount of uh, weight and tension to do that because uh, a class 2 tow hitch which is what comes with a Tesla Model Y is not actually rated for a weight distribution hitch so again when I am showing you guys this this is far from manufacturer specifications this is just something that I went with uh, because I kind of experimented with the car and saw what it can and cannot handle. Uh, I can tell you that the car can handle this setup. I just wanted to mention that this is out of their manufacturer specifications, so you are doing this at your own risk. But this is what I have done. This is an incredibly stable weight distribution hitch. I noticed a huge difference. This actually has a 9-inch rise, which is perfect for this car because it sits quite low. Uh, it can be flipped uh, either down or up has a nine inch rise or a six and a quarter inch drop. And this shank length is huge because uh, it actually fits into the hitch receiver on the Tesla Model Y. It allows you to put the pin through the, through the hole in the back and it does clear all the plastic trim. It is a perfect fit. Please also notice that this is for a two and five sixteenth ball and that doesn't fit all applications. You may need something that's actually just a two inch ball. Uh, this can be removed, but this is what comes stock with this one, so just something else to consider. At the very least, you do not need to use the weight distribution bars in this setup. The actual hitch is fantastic in this, and it still allows you to change all the heights or the drop. And I even use this uh, if I'm in between certain positions where I don't need a weight distribution hitch. I will just use uh, this hitch, and it is a fantastic hitch. It's very stable, and you can use this without having to use those bars. My last bit of advice here is to check out the video I just made towing with the first time in this uh, Tesla with a trailer that maxed out its capacity uh, and kind of get a realistic sort of uh, perspective on what it's like to tow in this car. You're not going to be able to go very far and uh, the difference between you know 50, 55, and 60 miles per hour is huge. Wind resistance just absolutely amplifies how far you can actually go in this thing. So if you are seriously considering towing in this car, just know that um, if you're going to max it out, even 100 miles of range is going to be very difficult to achieve and you will have to go very slow in the car, which is hard to do when it has as much power as it does. And so hopefully kind of my lessons will teach you guys going forward. Thank you.